Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, players. It's another wonderful Friday, this May of 2023, making it a wonderful day for basics. Now, I'm over here on a Q account on Fox. I don't use very often. Uh, good old no reader. We might be able to get a game. We might not. Accounts looking kind of scary at 48 and 7. And today, our goal is to play for influence. That's right, I said influence. Because this is the month of May. And the month of May is the month of Star Wars. For this is the only month where May the 4th be with you. And what better force is there than influence? Which we will be playing for right now. Alright, we've got ourselves a game. Go ahead and check him out. Hey, he's 10 and 8. Looks good. Alright, so we could do a 3-4 or a 4-4 four, four point. Either are completely A-OK. -okay. The most traditional one is 3-4 facing and then either like building a framework or just going ahead and closing. I will go ahead and enclose here. My opponent wants to live inside the corner. That is completely fine because I want the outside. And a very basic exchange of inside versus outside is really, really good. But take special note here, dear Qs. If you play here, he gets to play here and you kind of fall for a little bit of a mistake. Your opponent gets to do more things to you than they have any right to. So we're going to go ahead and connect here so they can't do the push and the slide and kind of turn this into like a 3-3 Jaseki. And it's Edward's going to go ahead and make sure we can connect. That looks like it's all nice and dandy. Ooh. Possible death has been now assured for my opponent who dropped to the first line. A mistake worthy of a 10Q. And not the 3Q this person's flashing. It's okay though. We'll just go ahead and play here into here. Get him to fix his little mistake. There we go. And now we have a choice. I can use my influence and grow. That's completely fine. Or I can also expand either or. Now, since this is by far and away the easiest one to deal with, I think it's also the one uh, you have a probably a really good chance of handling the best of. Um, technically, if I play here, he could theoretically keep me low. If I specifically want influence here, I've got to come up from above. Ugh, my opponent is still struggling to prevent me to get influence. Ah, annoying. Ah, that's fine. Out we go. We can go ahead and cap this later on. That's really, really nice. Little bit strange, but okay. We'll just go ahead and fix our little shape here. He'll fix himself all over here. I'll go ahead and drop down, let him get a base. It's okay. Eh, a little weird. I can clamp instead and keep him low. But not going to worry about that so much. There, he's fine, right? It's very, very difficult to actively play for influence like this. Uh, because, well, I mean... He wants to push through and cut. That's tremendously, anno tremendously annoying, I have to say. Yeah. I could handle it. Very well, I will defend. Got Sente back. Alright, so we can surround here. And using our little bit of uh, strength influence to start surrounding this. We can go ahead and cap here, using our influence to start surrounding this. We could go ahead and play a Gote move, which I'm less inclined to do. Uh, takes a lot of territory, for sure. But a more active and a faster response is by far and away playing this one. He's going to try to resist that, but he can't because my influence is too strong. So, sad for him... He does not get to cut through me. Ever. So instead, he's just going to keep sitting there and reinforcing all of my outside stones. Which I am completely fine with. The clamp here is the most complicated move I've played this game. But it ensures that he can't do much to me besides... Uh, bend the knee in this area of the board. 
<laughs> yeah, sure, go for it. See, I'm not trying to kill him. I did let him live with entirely too much if we're if we're going to be honest, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. Just kind of protect your cutting points. Well, I, actually, I can kind of extend it here. I don't really have to. I, I will, I will, I will. Uh, there, my cutting points are protected. Now what? Well, that's too close to thickness. Obviously, too close to thickness. So this move is dead. Let's take a minute to understand why this move is dead. A uh, group, in order to not be dead, needs to be able to make a base or escape. Well, unless you are completely insane, you realize that this stone... Yeah, it can't... Yeah, it can't seem to go out anymore. I don't see a way to get a base over in here. So that doesn't make any sense. So I open, sir. You could do close, you could do far away. It hardly matters. Make him heavy. Now we're coming on out. At this point, he's dead. If I want his life, it's mine. Because he cannot escape the wall that expands over half the board. We just surround him and he's dead. Because he can't live locally and he can't escape. Ergo, this is dead. But at the same time, I do want this lesson to be more than just, hey, Yo, Yomi now starts. you get the influence and you kill the person. What's not, what, what, what could be easier than that? No, 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 no. Let's go ahead and take our territory too. We're going to profit while we attack. Because profiting while you attack is, is unfortunately the way you're supposed to use influence. So here we go. We're profiting with a big fat old corner. That's worth more than all of his territory combined. Because this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six. These moves are irrelevant. Um, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You get the idea, right? He's still not. Ah, I sigh. Tell you what, I'll pretend that that was a problem. Okay, so here's, here's the thing. I can obviously go bop, bop, bop for an eye here, and we've got four sigma moves here. This is alive, therefore this cutting point doesn't matter. But maybe you don't know that, so you defended when you didn't have to. That's okay. Okay, look, I know I let you live, but don't mistake me for Jesus. This obviously goes nowhere. This is a cute trick a lot of cues play. They want you to Atari so they can Atari back and then you take and then they take. That's real that that is uh let me tell you, that has tripped up a lot of people. But you don't always have to Atari. For starters. Okay, for one, the variation that he wanted to play wasn't gonna work out for him anyway, because there's nowhere to go. And two, you can always extend as well, so it's relevant. I don't think this is hard to kill, right? Are we all in agreement? We're in agreement, right? Nine, all right, so ways to kill eight, it. One, seven, just play here. Six, two, five, uh, you could four, also play like over three, in here. You, you could do almost whatever you want. One, Tell you what, I'll do this one. Why not? Hania there, almost misclicked, that would be bad. Oh yeah, this is, uh, that's, uh, his attempt to live. Now you can throw in here. If you throw in here, I congratulate you, you've killed your opponent. Because there's not enough room to live. I admit I want to do it. Nine, eight, Regretfully, seven, there is a six, larger five, less than a foot four, that we will be going after. And that is making sure you're protected. It looks like I just backed off my opponent for no reason. But there's a little bit of a cutty times here when I throw in to kill him, right? Now there isn't. Now you just throw in and he just dies. But he noticed. Yeah, so this into essentially a net killed the top. Killed the right hand. Left hand. Whatever side this is. The middle. Middle thing over here. Elvis. It killed Elvis, okay? This is now known as Elvis. 
The king of all moves, you might say. Clever, but no. Sorry. It's gonna be, uh, just dead stones. Now, I will admit, even in this uh, spot, it doesn't really matter. Because you'll notice that this here is not an eye yet, right? Because we can poke through and kill. So all of this has yet to make a single eye. A single eye. So if I play something even as simple as this one, you can see how the influence just constantly threatens things. You see that, right? By the way, if I play here, I think he's still dead. Uh, yep, A firm. He's dead. But you can see how this influence is just giving me more and more. Okay, this, I've, I've had it. This one's dead. This one's dead, maybe. The, fir the previous lesson is still in effect, actually, because this group is not alive. And this is super important to take note of, okay? I, I don't think it gets enough uh, attention, to be honest. I don't think it gets enough attention. But because he, uh, he has this weak group here, he can't actually afford to make another one. We saw that here, right? Because it brought this back into play. And now we have the exact same thing over here. He can't afford to keep making weak groups because he just keeps dying. Now, if you could excuse me, that one, like I said, is not... That one's just not living. I claim this is my own. All right, that's dead, right? Yeah, sure, cool. Let's keep surrounding now. Do not give this move for free. Don't. He plays here, he's dead. Um, Can he, like, make two eyes in any way, shape, or form right now? Eh, whatever, let's play here. That, that's an easy way of doing it, right? Okay, that's only a square. You can't do anything. Maybe he thinks he can capture me, capture race it. Here, I'll kill this too. All right, so game ended. We're about 50 points up. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of a peek, see about that. Uh, again, just a, quick re just a quick recap. Just a quick recap. The reason for all this was pretty simple. I enclosed and he started the game off by giving me tremendous amounts of influence, the likes of which you have never seen before. Uh, if you wanted to go ahead and throw in and contest that which he is doing, you could probably try something along those lines, but uh, maybe not just yet, huh? This was good enough. I got to expand. He should have gone ahead and just taken my offer of developing this kind of thing or even this kind of thing. I don't know. Either way, we're trying to spend off my influence. Taking the top was, again, completely fine if you wanted to do that. Uh, from here, if you wanted to go ahead and, again, just keep pressing him low, you absolutely could. More strength for yourself, not a really big deal. Tried to buzz head up against my wall, that didn't really work, it only made me stronger, and then he made again too close of an approach, which essentially sealed his doom. Because from there, he can't get out, he's dead. And, as you can see here, we win by about the exact same amount of points that we won by at the end of the game. Because although the influence did shift around, it did not disappear. And that is a problem that they have to be very, very careful of, or everyone to be careful of, whenever you're trying to deal with influence. You might try to uh, get rid of it, but if you're getting rid of it in the wrong way, you aren't really getting rid of it, you're just making it appear somewhere elsewhere on the board. In that regard, influence can be like a game of whack-a-mole. You go ahead and bop it, you think it disappeared, but it's popping up somewhere else. It's one of the many reasons why I've always, always, always been telling everybody that I can to absolutely beware of the early 3-3 invasions because you quickly find yourself in the exact same position. Spiel gestartet. All right, got ourselves another game. Over here on the OGS, yes, we're going to try to play continuously for the influence, as you know. Uh, we've got approach. We'll go ahead and back off. We can play for influence even if we back off low. It's pretty good. 
Now, we could go and pincer here, but we're not going to. We'll go ahead and do the approach on the open 3-4 stone. That is completely A-OK. -okay. Your opponent can pincer you and go all in on the upper right, as we literally just see right now. And that is OK. <sighs> now, there are a few dangerous traps here if we want to play for influence. One, for example, is if I play here, there is this cut. Which leads to a whole lot of insane things. Oh my god. That is one of the most complicated things you can possibly see in this game. I don't want to see in mine. This is also a weird one. Um, I'll go ahead and jump out. It's fine. And I'll probably just settle. It's fine too. It's not a problem. We are wanting to play for influence, but it can only do it if our opponent gives us the um, the conditions in which to develop influence. That's a very, very, very important thing about any kind of... Uh-oh. Don't haunt it. That's a very important part of any kind of game. My opponent, unbeknownst to themselves just gave me a r absolute ring endorsement to go ahead and play the influence. Now, this, this move is weird for a whole bunch of reasons. One, we could Hane here, or Atari here, and then we could still do something like... something like that. We're not going to play it, though. Instead, um, we're well, just going to go and do a single Atari. A single Atari, and because the board is now flashing the go-ahead to develop a tremendous amount of influence, well, gosh darn it, don't you know? We're going to go grab some now. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. Is he seriously? Let me think about, is he going to let me take the one stone? That'd be insane. What are you thinking about? It's weird. My first opponent did the same thing. Uh, here on OGS. They played a couple of games, and then they just stopped playing. And after a couple of minutes of their time ticking down, I just resigned and left. Okay, here we go. So I now have tremendous amounts of influence because my opponent, for whatever reason, did not come out. And he made a really, really bad shape that I get to exploit. Very, very common one. Serious, big, big time Jaseki mistake. Ooh, and he's following it up with more mistakes. If I play here, he has to Atari, I double Atari, that sucks. I play here, he has to connect. Why am I show why am I telling you? I can just show you. I'm gonna not do it, which is why I'm showing you. Essentially, if you play here, 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 hey look, double Atari, game over. Uh you play here into here. Well now what? Are we gonna do this one, this one, this one, and this one? That's pretty fantastic, right? Are we gonna go here, 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 into here? It's also looking pretty good now. The corner's about to die. A whole bunch of stuff's gonna happen. So again, not a move you can play. He had to Atari, and I actually to Hane. It's it's pretty fantastic. But we won't play it. That requires a little bit more reading. The principle of just going for influence here is good enough for us. Unless he plays elsewhere, and then yeah, I'm absolutely throwing him in, throwing in and teaching him uh, the way. He will learn the way. He either protect himself or he will learn the way. What are you going to do now? In a world where one opponent has to make a very important decision. Coming soon to YouTube near you. It is, do we protect our stones? Answer is no. So that means I can play here. And if he plays here, I can play here. And then if he Ataris, we can play here. And then if he takes, we can Hane. And do a whole bunch of fun stuff that way. Once again, we're not going to do it. I hate that I'm not doing it. I hate that I'm not doing it. If you can read it out, if you are good enough at this game, then you could read out the dangers of here for him. Or you could read out the dangers... Here for him, where we get complete enclosures, just like we had last time. You're ahead of the game. 
but the principle of what we're the principle of what we're doing is still uh, valid. So he will bleed for this. He should push it one more time. Now he's attacking me, giving me more influence. Now that's a head scratcher, isn't it, chat? He gave me a bunch of influence on the bottom right of the board, and now he's giving me, he's forcing me to get influence in the upper left-hand part of the board. This is where it's been mentioned in some books that may be in the description down below. Why it's important for your stones to, like, be consistent. Because he can see what my stones are doing. So why are we doing this? All right. I ask you, kind individual, for your honesty. I demand it. I didn't want to do this, but I also don't want him. Now, if he's smart, he won't take those two stone because it's too small and he sees that I'm growing too fast. I'm too thick. Good. Yeah, after this move, there was no reason for it. And this should be on my move instead. So I will give him a good old tip of the hat for that one. Way to go. Way to go. Uh, you can choose your favorite second here. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to back off high. Um, well, no, I won't be answering that. Sorry. Okay. By pincering, he's securing his group, but he should never have made two of them simultaneously. Or apparently he really likes to. I, I don't really know. Fine. So be it. Hane into a cut or whatever is fine. Threaten to high head two and three stones. Basic. Same thing. High head two and three. Basic. Now I'm not surrounded. And this doesn't live locally. So he's dead. I don't want to kill him. I have no interest in killing him. But this doesn't live locally. Got the territory. Now here's where we must decide how aggressive we're going to be. He's left things behind that he dared not leave behind. Oh well. It will be as it is. We're just going to just surround him. That's all we're doing here. Just surrounding the weak group. We're strong locally. He isn't. That's how we can do this kind of thing. We came out. He didn't afford me the same courtesy. So now he is with me forever and ever and ever. Connect up my uh, thing. So now he's going to run this group right next to this one. Unfortunately, this is just going to be it. Oh, maybe he's sacrificing. Okay. That's a better idea. I, I applaud. He did sacrifice this. Very smart decision. Because if he kept trying to run this... This group would be uh, taken out. Gotei, unfortunately. Uh, so his main territory is right here. But I've already got this and this. So it's not really an issue. It's just uh, this over here. It's a problem, right? So let's not make it a problem anymore. I'm going to just do a pincer. Simple as that. These three stones are also mine if I cut. That is four sure and seven years ago. All of his territory is in the upper right-hand corner. That upper right hand corner, sadly, is based on a T-space extension, which isn't territory. That's influence. So, regretfully for him right now, if I 3-3 him, he loses the bulk of his points. It's unfortunate, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. He went for a small night. Instantly, we're poking at all of his shapes. You don't get to bully me with uh, bluffs. This shape can't hold that.
Now, I hope he defends himself one more time here. He might not. I won't kill him if he doesn't. He does! Not bad. It's still only one eye, though. But still not bad. I'll, I'll, I'll give Sente back. He is trying to ensure he's alive. I respect that. That is not Sente, unfortunately. So we will reverse that. Thank you. Push through and cut actually kills. He wants to give me the stones, I'll take the stones. Uh, okay. What's up, sir? Um, Actually, I'm being silly. I said we would 3-3 three, three at first. Let's, let's just go ahead and do that first. Let's go ahead and do that first. Let's go ahead and do that first. I'm sorry, chat. I, I totally forgot. Totally spaced out. Totally spaced out. Um, I mean, you could go here and to just, like... Literally here. I mean, that seems... Mm, excuse me. Seems fine. Uh, playing here. And here is also a cat. You get to extend far enough to live. Uh, let's go ahead and show that kit. Let's, let's go showcase that. Let's go showcase that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Do you dare, Duane? It is up to you, my friend. Now, he could kill this by, by playing here, because we uh, did this one instead. That's okay. Alright, if he plays here, we play there. And then he throws in, and I play here, and he does that one. So, yep, we need to play that one. That is affirmative. He needs to kill these three stones. That's fine. Well, I'm looking to sacrifice him to leapfrog into his area anyway. Um, I'm assuming I'm not to know that he's trying to kill me. So I'm kind of fighting with him on that right now. He lost the fight. Now if he plays here, I cut. Yeah. He defends. Oh, he resigned. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so if we look at the score estimator on this one, game's kind of close. I don't think he had to actually resign necessarily. Um, there are a few things yeah, I do want to highlight though. It. There are a few things I do want to highlight though about this game. One, this bottom right uh, mostly ended the game because this was really not a good situation for my opponent to be in, as previously mentioned, because this is just an insanely good result. This is just not a Jiseki. It's just not a Jiseki. Unfortunately, it just isn't. Um, then he gave me more influence. Again, not the, not the greatest. Here, that right there is cooking with influence right now. So good. So good. Tying all my stones together. I gave him Sente back. He tried to bluff with an overextension, unfortunately. And then he didn't defend himself here. The result of that, as you uh, saw in the mid-game, was essentially a fate that was mostly worse than death. Because after here, you've got a whole bunch of really crazy uh, shapes. Like, he's got 0.5 eye here, right? Because this could be one eye in goat hay. So, once you acknowledge this is 0.5 eye, there's no reason not to just keep attacking this. Right? And then, of course, there's the left hand, which just dies because huge wall into huge wall equals death for these stones. Um... Yeah, here, ordinarily, you would never let this out. You would absolutely never let this out. You would have him run. 
because you're attacking both groups simultaneously. So one of them is probably one of his groups is probably just gonna die. I mean, it's all that's all there is to that because this is just like a weird little stringy shape. And being surrounded equals dead. That unfortunately right there is uh, just the value of influence. Two weak groups running towards each other. You split them. You keep them split. And bad things happen to them. Very, very, very straightforward lesson. In my opinion. Either way, interesting game from this individual. And as always, I'll see you next time. Hope you all learned a little bit about influence. And take care everyone.